<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Fashions with Perry Kim, and this is powered by Smart. Experience award-winning 5G network from Smart. And of course, we gave you guys a prediction with Blacklist International in the playoffs bracket for season 13. Let's give you guys a what if. Let's say this is going to be the scenario that uh, Omega actually is the one who will be heading into the playoffs this season 13. So, okay, before we begin our episode, don't forget to click the notification bell down below. Click that subscribe button as well to Tier 1 Studios for the latest updates on the gaming and tech content news. And of course, I'm your host, Barry Kim, and let's give you guys our bracket prediction if it is going to be Omega that will be heading into the playoffs. So, Omega, we have the addition of Chuck Nu in our roster coming into season four and, uh, sorry, week number four and week number five, rather. And having Chuck Mamba is a huge, huge boost for Omega coming into this week. It's a very crucial week for our barangay and definitely need points to catch up to Blacklist International. Highest possible points is going to be 16 points. And hopefully, they're just hoping that it's going to be Blacklist International losing all of their matches if this is going to be the case. So if it is going to be Omega, say they are going to be the last team that will make it to the playoffs. They're going to be in the fifth and sixth spot together with Minana. That is going to be having their first time heading into the playoffs this season 13. So let's get started off with our round one of the players. We got Minana and Omega. And this is what I believe, okay? I've seen Omega in the playoffs live in the MPL arena and that's why they're called Lason or that's why they're called Venom of the playoff stage and even in MPL Philippines they have a, a, the potential to really really upset some of these teams and they have this mode called the playoffs mode which I think Omega will activate real soon and having Chak Mamba is really really a big factor so heading into this match round one of the play-ins there's gonna be an elimination here of course usually for the fifth and sixth seed Minana and Omega honestly with the stellar performance that Minana has I'd have to give this like a Oh, based on how Omega performed in week number 5, maybe like a 3-2 because it's going to be a best out of 5 match. It's going to be Omega heading into the next round. And come on, I'm, a, I'm part of the brown guy. I honestly believe like I've seen this. And Omega has been doing this time and time again for the previous seasons, even cleansing some of the most tightest playoff spots even in the previous season. So, I have, have to give it to the brown guy. Omega heading into the next round of players, RSG and Omega. This is really tough, okay? I'd like to say it's gonna be the Barangay heading into the next round. Again, it's a BO5 between the Raiders. Uh, this is so tough. I honestly don't know. I would like to say that it's gonna be Omega heading into the next round. But... It was possible. Come on, they did it to TNC. The top three seed back a uh, few seasons ago, season nine. So it's really very likely. But with this roster of Omega, do you think they can make it to the next round? Like maybe fight off like AP Ben? Huh. So tough, so tough. Let me see. Uh, I feel like it will be, for some reason, okay, really based on the performance of Omega this week, and based on like how RSG has been struggling, I feel like it might be Omega here, but it's not gonna be easy. Like 3-2, still a 3-2 in favor of Omega. Let's put it at that, right? Like, sorry Raiders. Let's see. Okay, I, I really believe Omega has this playoffs move spot, uh, or play, playoff mode, rather, when it comes to the playoff season. Uh, Omega Brand though, I'd have to give it to Brand 3-1. Bren will be moving to the next part of the upper bracket. Uh, Omega will be dropped down. Just make it a little bit more exciting. Um, Echo Onyx. Still a 3-2. I would say this is in favor of Echo. 3-2. For some reason, I always put it at 3-2 because it's so tight this season. I mean, come on. You've seen the, the statistics. You've seen the standings. And the points are just so close with our top seed. So I really don't know, right? It's about who's going to adjust well here in season 6 of the playoffs. Or maybe even the regular season. So lower bracket, let's see. It's going to be Omega Onic here. So this could be... It's going to be Onic here. I would say Onic. And this is where the barangay will stop its journey. Onic Philippines. Uh, I'd say three... Ooh, it's going to be Kelra going up against his, uh, his, his old teammates. Uh, old team, rather. At 3-1 in favor of Onyx. So it's going to be Onyx moving into the next part of the lower bracket. So it's going to be Bren and Echo fighting each other in the upper bracket, which is still going to be my prediction, by the way. So Bren, Echo, I'd say 3-2 for this. Favor of Bren still going to be heading into the grand finals. It's going to be our MSC representatives as well. So it's going to be Onyx and Echo Philippines in the lower bracket. I guess it's going to be tough. <laughs> I'd still say Echo. Yeah, 3-2. I'd say 3-2 in favor of Echo. I think it's much easier when you have the top seeds, right? You kind of have like an idea of like the play styles and what they can do. 
three two uh brand echo for the grand finals i'd say it's four two for this one in favor of brand still i mean m5 come on they've been mad consistent and heading into msc with the biggest prize pool ever i'd have to say that the hive is still alive here coming into season 13 and they might just be a back-to-back -back npl philippines champion just like our philippines and they will be the msc representatives for 2024 alongside echo philippines and they're gonna be heading over to riyadh saudi arabia to represent the philippines but again these are all predictions that i have my this is my own bracket by the way so if you guys have your own predictions you have your own brackets you think that okay it might be like three zero let me know or it might be four zero let me know as well in the comment section on what are your thoughts about my bracket prediction but that's it for this episode of Hats with very kim hopefully you guys catch the playoffs and of course the grand finals of mbl philippines season 13 it will be announced real soon on how you guys can have the tickets venues as well on where that will happen but once again thank you so much for joining us in this episode we're going to be having more of our patch notes episode maybe have some of these live episodes as well in the playoffs of mbl philippines season 13 this is powered by smart experience award-winning 5g network from smart so hope to see you guys in the next episode don't forget to follow me that's at burger kim cast on facebook instagram and tiktok for the latest update on my life and of course the esports world as well on what i've been doing and of course don't forget to follow tier one studios as well on youtube click that subscribe button click that notification bell for more updates on the latest gaming and tech content see you guys as we bring you more of everything and anything from mobile legends bang bang see you guys in the next episode of patch out super game bye bye